In this video, we'll give a brief trip around three different controls, the RAD Date Picker, the RAD Time Picker, and the RAD Calendar. The first control we'll look at is the RAD Date Picker control. As its name implies, this control allows you to pick dates. There is a calendar pop-up that comes with the Date Picker. Let's look at some of the navigation features. They have fast navigation, which takes you backward or forward three months at a time. You have the regular forward and back buttons, which take you one month at a time. You can also click on the month and year display. It pops up this little window, which allows you to select a month and a year, and then tell it OK. If you need to go back to the current date, click on it again, and you'll notice there's a Today button right here. And that takes you back to the current date. And we'll cover control styling at the end of the video for setting the properties, for instance, of selected days. And we should also note that this much of the component here, the input area, can also be added to the form as just a RAD date input control. Date picker includes the calendar pop-up. The next control that we'll look at is the RAD time picker control. And it's very similar to the date picker control in that it has an input area, it has a pop-up calendar which allows you to select a date, it also has a pop-up clock that lets you select a time. Just like the RAD date picker control, there's a separate control called a RAD time input that consists only of the entry box or the RAD time picker control which includes the date and the time display. The time display is also configurable. You noted previously that we had three columns worth of time spaced an hour apart, but we can also set it so that it displays five columns at 15 minute intervals or just about any configuration that you could want. The final control in the calendar collection of controls is the calendar itself. It has all of the features of the calendar on the previous two components with a couple of additions. One addition is the ability to select an entire column or an entire row of dates at a time. You can even set the Enable View Selector property to True which provides this little X in the upper left hand corner which will select every visible day on the calendar surface. The RAD calendar also permits you to select days in advance either declaratively or programmatically and to set the way that those days are marked for display. There's a great deal of flexibility inside the calendar control in that you can set the column captions for the way that you'd like to see the day of the week displayed. You can also turn on and off the week number of the year displayed along the left hand side. So you see here we have an instance of a calendar with the enable view header turned off with the row headers turned off and displaying a two character day abbreviation. Now if we take a brief look at how these items are set. They're set exactly the way that you would expect them to be set. Here's our calendar object and it has your fast navigation settings up here. You see here we have the captions that are displayed along the bottom. The cancel, the OK, and the today buttons. Also since you can set the minimum and maximum date ranges permitted on the calendar there's a customizable message right here that will be displayed when the date is out of range. Here are the fast navigation buttons that are displayed along the top edge of the control with the two greater than signs or the two less, less than signs. And you can also set the text for the tooltip as well. The number of months to be navigated is right here, this fast navigation step that tells you to take it three months forward or back. You can set the style of a lot of different areas of the calendar control. This is the fast navigation style for the buttons that are on the top of the form. The header style, which sets the style for the column and row headers. 
We've also got other month day style. So if you're looking at a month that has 31 days, but you have some months displayed that are before the beginning of the month or after the end of the month, this determines the style that those days will be displayed in. Out of range days, again, refers to the range max date and range min date, which you can set. And if it's out of range, you can set the style for that. We have a selected day style, a title style, a weekend day style, and up at the top of the properties, the calendar table style, and the day over style. This will be the style that the day turns to while the mouse is hovering over the particular day. And then we have the day style, and that's a day when nothing else is being applied to it. Disabled day style. And the day is going to be disabled when you go to the collection editor for special days. And when you edit one of these days, you can say whether the day is disabled or not. So that's the quick tour of the RAD date picker, the RAD time picker, and the RAD calendar controls. For more Telerik videos, technical discussion forums, and examples, please go to www.telerik.com.